So here we're going to do a test flight with my modified DJI Phantom 2. You can see I've got the uh, prop guards on here. I uh, painted my front prop guards yellow so when it's flying we get a better idea of its orientation in the sky. If I see the two yellow then it's coming towards us. Um, I've also painted the top part matte black. You can see also I've got the modification on here where I've uh, got my antenna for my FPV. Um, I've installed the mini IOSD on the inside of here and my other modification I've done is on here instead of using the string I've actually put on some more uh, stronger uh, wire and it looks uh, a little bit neater and tidier as well. So um, let's go ahead and have a test flight. So I'm going to use my GoPro HD Hero 3 Plus and uh, I don't have the gimbal installed on my Phantom right now so I'm just going to attach it using the normal GoPro housing. Um, this isn't the most secure way of doing it and you'll get a little bit of a jello effect on your video but this is the way that I'm going to attach it using the clip. Um, a few things about the settings here on the GoPro. First of all as it's going to be hanging upside down we need to turn the up um, setting so that the, uh, the, the, the image will automatically be flipped because usually it will be this way around but as we have it this way around we need to turn that setting on and uh, I have another video also where I go into some of the settings that you might want to use on your GoPro um, to give you the best video results. So I'll show you how I've attached this to the DJI Phantom. Okay, so here's how I've attached my GoPro. I've got the uh, normal GoPro clip-on mount. You see I've placed it at the back here so I still have space at the front to attach my gimbal when it arrives next week. So for now we're just going to clip the GoPro into there. Make sure it clicks in and makes a nice click sound. You don't want this falling off while you're flying. And then you're going to want to position the GoPro to be at whatever type of angle you want it pointing slightly downwards. Remember though as this uh, as the Phantom is flying it will tip forwards also so you will get some more of a downwards type of view and then what you want to do is just do up um, the screw here nice and tight so that uh, it isn't gonna slip or move around as you're flying with the vibrations. The other thing that I'm gonna want to do is also tuck my ribbon cable which would usually be for the um, connecting the gimbal. I want to tuck that out of the way so it isn't flapping about and getting in the way of my my shots. So I'll just tuck it into the hole here that I made for my mini IOSD display to come out. So before we power on the Phantom, what we want to first do is turn on our transmitter. So we switch over the power switch and when we get our red power light, we know that our transmitter is indeed turned on. The other thing we want to do is make sure that our two top switches are in the up position. So make sure that these are pushed up as far as they will go. So once we've got the um, controller all already turned on and we make sure that our um, switches are in the up position, we can now power on the DJI Phantom. We press once and then press a second time holding down. And it will power on and make a noise for us. And also as well, the LEDs on the uh, base of the Phantom will begin to um, flash uh, not that they uh, are very visible though in the daylight. Okay, and then the final thing we want to do is turn on our screen. And you can see uh, here on the screen, uh, we're not getting a video signal right now because I don't have the gimbal attached. But what we are getting is the readout from the um, mini IOSD. So we're going to be able to see data such as the altitude, the distance from the home position um, that the Phantom is as well as our battery levels. So uh, this gives us like a heads up display as we're flying the Phantom around. So we have an idea of its location, how far away from us it is, and whether we have enough battery power to make sure that it comes back. Which is gonna be quite important in this test because I'm gonna give the uh, Phantom a little bit of an altitude test and see how high we can get it to go. Okay, so when we're ready to go, we're gonna move the two controllers into the lower corners and that will power on our Phantom so the blades start to spin and now we're ready to fly away once we get our green flashing LEDs on the bottom which I already have which means that we have a home position already marked. Another thing you can see on the mini on-screen display here is uh, in the upper right hand corner the number of satellites that we're actually connected to already. 
Um, so we can see that we have eight satellites or seven um, locked on. So we know that the Phantom has a GPS signal from the satellites and that it's ready to fly. So once we're ready to go, we're gonna lift the Phantom up using our left stick and the Phantom will rise up 